uh, good morning teachers principals and directors uh, we will be starting the meeting in another one minute hope i am audible yeah thank you ma'am Uh, hello teachers, one small announcement uh, for the certificates like last Sunday, 30th July, July workshop ka certificates, uh, we already released two few of your colleagues. So everyone will receive the certificate by tomorrow evening. So don't worry, few of your colleagues might have received and you might not receive, don't worry, by tomorrow evening, everyone will receive their certificate. A very warm welcome to one and all present over here, teachers, school leaders. Thank you so much for joining. Apologies for a delayed start uh, due to some technical glitch over here. I hope you are able to hear me and see me clearly. Uh, oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, teachers. So welcome back to another Super Sunday workshop. And this time we are going to touch on Kilona or Kilona. It's something related to toy-based pedagogy, something that's deep-rooted in our culture since a long, long time ago. And when we talk about toys, there is a sense of joy that comes in everybody's mind. We are not going to talk something new today at all because almost everyone you know, knows about what exactly toy-based pedagogy is all about. Very simple. We're going to use some Kilona. We're going to use some materials. We're going to play some games with the children and convey the concept or the topic that are present in the textbook to the students. This is what it's going to all about. But this particular session, we are going to touch upon some indigenous toys and, and things that are already part of our tradition and culture, which has been existing for a long time, and remind ourselves that most of the learnings that are actually present around 
most of the things that are actually present around with respect to concepts in the textbook they can be dealt uh, with our day to day activities itself right from the way we talk about the difference between a rhombus and a square with an example of a quite uh, kite right from the way we talk about uh, the syringes or the pichkaris that we have in the holy and talk about different types of uh, you know uh, simple machines that can make complex work into simple task we'll talk about that today in detail or even when we talk about the mechanism of a particular a uh, vehicle which moves from one place to another and we shift some gears around gears are teethed wheels or teeth wheels i think you know about that right we are going to talk about the spikes of all those things and and all these things are kind of you know present in our day to day life in multiple scenarios uh, some child you know you would have told ki uh, mummy papa could you please buy me a cycle that has got some gears now what do you actually mean by it they actually use these gears not only in the bicycles it's actually present in even in cars or bikes or cars uh, buses and various other transportation systems but these are actually present even in our day to day play activities as well we are going to touch upon all these things to various angles we are also going to talk about various indian festivals that talk about toys to a large extent did you know that there are some countries which has got maximum economy their economy is getting developed because of making of toys and they are kind of new but when we talk about india as a country toys has been part of our culture for a long long time in fact toys used to be one element that's present in each and every festival because of which we we feel like getting ourselves entertained during that particular time just imagine you wake up one one day in the morning and there's diwali festival coming out there and uh, diwali is not comprising of anything you know like the toys or the diya it's, it's just that there's a festival somebody you know spiritually uh, some something happened and we have an incident over there just remembering the incident the whole charm of the festival goes away uh, uh, but the point is when we talk about a festival and if it's associated with some kind of uh, you know a uh, joy you know that's why it's called as probably in hindi mela you know mela there's a fair that's there you know there's a sense of joy excitement and happiness that comes among all of us and there's a child in all of us for sure uh, which which seeks out to you know buy those materials and mele mein when you buy these materials uh, even we don't really care about the quality at that time we want that you know the, the fan that's rotating just just over there you know we call that firni no firni is i think the top we'll talk about it let me quickly share my screen and and we are going to talk about uh, you know what what toy based pedagogy is all about this will be quite uh, a nice session from uh, engagement and uh, excitement point of view and let's see how much of toys that you have used in your life and whatever i'm going to show you how much of you have used all of those things let's discuss about all those things today in the chat i would like to request everyone to please be participative and and a uh, reflection form i think swati would have already mentioned you will be getting it in 15 days time uh, we are trying to shorten the time uh, but yeah this is something and if you have not received it please mail it to uh, swati at the rate superteacher.in if you want you can keep me in cc vasudevan at uh super teacher dot in and uh, today we are also going to touch upon the topic called as indigenous toys indigenous toys are those toys that are easily available in your topography that are part of your culture tradition so in 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 south where i was uh born there are certain toys that are quite famous uh we uh, we celebrate this during uh, you know some of the festivals let me show that and then talk about all these things one by one i'm i'm just becoming a little excited to talk about lot of toys right away in the beginning itself but let's follow the process let's follow the procedure toy based pedagogy as per nep 2020 now when we talk about uh, nep uh, uh, 2020 they talk about various thinking skills that are supposed to be imbibed among the children they talk about computation thinking skills through ai coding and all these things they talk about uh, design thinking while talking about you know problem solving how to ideate a problem how to prototype a problem solution and things like that when we talk about critical thinking it's it's the way you think to come up to a decision when you have got multiple options present in front of you they talk about creativity communication collaboration lot of thinking skills and you know what somewhere or the other when we talk about our behavior in our day to day life with our family and friends especially during these festivals these skills get imbibed how are they actually related this session will talk about that let's immediately go to the first one uh, government of india they came up with uh, an amazing thing called as toy fair 
and this one particular toy will always be present across india uh, i would like to request everyone to please put on the chat what is it called as in your area you can put your location and you can put uh, the name of it yeah it's called as lattu exactly or top exactly spin top kanafa exactly try to put the region as well pambram exactly in tamil uh, try to put it uh, your put your region as well teachers it will be you know easy for everybody to understand okay laddu in haryana yeah uh, yeah mostly in the northern part of up it's laddu laddu seriously oh laddu in in darjeeling oh is that so yeah in delhi laddu kolkata also laddu bonguram in in telugu exactly uh okay uh, what is this uh, bhogambaram okay bhavra oh i didn't know that that's great buguri okay gujarat mein bamro exactly bamro bamro yeah that's correct okay bhoganaram in in telugu pambram in tamil okay not not to right not to in odia oh not to in odia okay that's great that's great gujarat mein bambrado right correct 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 so when we talk pambram in malayalam exactly so when we talk about this one particular toy you know as a child and if you use this the major achievement would have been to to get this top right onto your palms without even touching on the ground and and that if you successfully do feels like achieving a nobel prize you know to just understand and this is this is something that nobody can do in my life you just just you know try to spin it and it just comes on directly now that's an amazing skill that you can develop right at that age itself when we talk about top there are so many amazing concepts that can be dealt with that now uh, immediately people talk about centrifugal force have you seen this while while the top spins some children try to pour water on that and when they pour water on that kind of gets scattered in a very systematic and creates a pattern uh, around the top so that's that's one aspect of it where you talk about centrifugal force look at the word centrifugal force it's it's quite complex to even comprehend for the children but they actually do it when they were there in what second third standard in india ये तो ऐसे ही हमारे बाएं हाथ का खेल है बस हमें इंग्लिश का नाम नहीं पता था इट समथिंग लाइक दैट सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट टॉप इट्स प्रेजेंट इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ आवर कंट्री एंड एंड विद डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ कोर्स एंड दिस इज लिटिल डेंजरस इफ स्टूडेंट्स हिट ईच अदर हां दैट्स दैट्स देयर बच्चे खेलते खेलते बड़े हो जाते हैं तो या डेंजर पार्ट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बट आई थिंक ईच एंड एवरी गेम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज गोइंग टू हैव दैट Beyblade, uh, Rashmi ma'am. In fact, the whole series came into picture called as Beyblade, and people started having this top, you know, in the form of animation, and it's called as Beyblade. You are absolutely right. He still plays with that. Amazing, amazing. So this is top, and and in your locality, it has got come up with multiple names. But end of the day, when we talk about the concepts that are present along with it, the students are experiencing it on day to day life. There are two important things as an observation that one of the survey talks about. Whenever the children are learning a particular concept and a teacher is explaining it suppose if the examples are not given by the teacher and only the concept is explained there is always a picture that is getting created in the children's mind so when you talk about first law of motion every object tends to be uh, in the state of rest or motion unless and until an external force acts upon now when i read the whole statement in a whole um uh, without an example as a whole uh the children try to come up with an imagination and it is said that this particular imagination is the direct result of the experiences that they they would have come across even if it is not mentioned by the teacher so what happens is if the children are exposed to multiple activities like one of the activities could be playing with the top uh the pictureization of the statements that are present as a concept becomes clear hence more the activities better is the clarity of imagination now there is an uh, you know additional advantage if a teacher is able to come up with the right example at the right time then it's even more better or we can call icing on the cake or whatever it is but the point is such kind of you know activities inculcate a sense of uh, pictureization imagination among the children with which uh, language becomes a beautiful thing for them and we are going to talk about multiple subjects and its association with toy based pedagogy let's let's get into the details of some of the toys in the upcoming slides to explaining the grammar topics like adjectives oh wow that's great and there's also a competition i do not know which part of the country i think orissa if i'm not wrong or odisha where they talk about uh, you know designing the top uh i think lattu is designed uh yahan par you can see some colors are present and on that you will have some dolls and all encrypted uh and and some people even use the magnifying glass and try to have the miniature drawings on the top and that 
that's a competition i'm not really sure which state it happens it's definitely not tamil nadu but uh, because uh, i read about it uh, i think it's in odisha or somewhere in you know eastern part of the country if you know you can you can put on the chat flexon is one of the popular meghalaya oh maybe maybe odisha odisha may there is something called as kandhi jatra uh, you know we'll talk about it let's go further let's go further i would like to quickly uh, you know play a small video on toy fair uh, right after nep once it got drafted importance of toy industry you know skyrocketed if you go to a mall even now you have got a separate shop called as hamleys and you see most of the toys out there are completely westernized if at all anybody out there can come up with a concept of indigenous toys or indian toys mere ghar ka khelona and let's start some kind of a franchise and run that and trust me westerns will start at, at least try to copy them the minimum or else they'll at least try to procure them um, one of the important documents is national curriculum framework foundational stage it is said that up till 8 years of age a child uh, a child's brain development is the fastest and at that particular time there are various psychologists and and various um, you know counselors out there who do parenting sessions and all very clearly prescribe to use toys that does not run on electronics try to buy toys that are that does, does not have batteries and things like that and and tries to you know one of the toys is that cascade cascading toy you, you would know that uh, there's a pillar kind of a thing and the rings are put inside the child has to arrange it in a certain pattern abacus is also one way of a toy let's look at this toy fair industry and it's a 2021 ka small video i just got i would like to play that quickly and and let's continue further eventually February 27th to March 2nd the virtual event will have over 1200 participants an opportunity to learn about and buy variety of toys there will be craft demonstration toy design challenge and product launch the event also provides a chance to interact with experts from different areas of the industry webinar and panel discussions will provide in depth idea about toys toy makers distributors and investors will converge on the platform msmes startups and artisans will also be a part of the fair for children there will be activity related learning sessions it will help enhance toy manufacturing in the country and increase global market share the toy fair is being organized for the first time on the backdrop of atmanirbhar bharat an opportunity to showcase india's toy manufacturing possibilities to the world to participate register at https://theindiatoyfair.in yeah this was one of the channel that captured toy fair and india uh, and in india after toy fair becoming quite famous i think now uh, in in many uh, locations yeah in karnataka chennapatna is actually a toy city exactly in fact the meaning itself is that you know that's that's about toy this is the place for toys chennapatna in karnataka is just not in karnataka even for madhya pradesh mein bhopal you've got different types of toys out there rajasthan has got so many beautiful toys which i think which state is famous for puppets in india is it is it is it rajasthan by any chance i'm just asking i i'm, I'm not sure about it a uh, buy wooden toy for kids you are absolutely right manju ma'am rajasthan right yeah puppets are quite you know common in the northern part of gujarat and rajasthan and southern part of you know punjab haryana and like yeah exactly exactly uh, yeah so each and every state out there we are all part of different states uh, somewhere you know the boundaries have become very precise but uh, the the touch of uh, the cross cultural uh, i should say influence on these toys have been very high and and puppets is used in, in like you know in many places including southern part of india in, including in kerala kerala is also famous for one very good sport called as the boat race especially happens during the onam festival let's talk about all these things one by one one by one it is also very important for all of us to try relating this with one of the concepts that we teach now whenever we come up with any super sunday workshop or any concept in nature uh, during the teaching learning transaction uh, it's kind of important for a teacher to open their or wear their creativity hats uh, we can't really say that uh, the top or or 
you know lot to whatever we have that is is for science as a subject in in case if an english teacher out there can come up with an idea you know i can i can use top as an example for uh, you know english as well for hindi as well for max as well science as well then that that's great now it's all about the creativity of a particular teacher to come up with the relevance of a particular toy with a concept of their subject it's it's very important for all of us to by now at least realize that everything that's happening around the universe is happening with with the culmination of all the subjects uh, it's just that during the school education we are trying to divide them so that if we learn them individually so that the connect will be better in the future and in the future if the children are not able to connect the whole point of education becomes waste so in that case in that case if at all a teacher can come up with multiple integration see this particular topic of toy fair is very closely related to art integration also so there can be thousand names of a particular pedagogy but end of the day what exactly happens to a child is the ability to connect what's being experienced in the real surroundings so that's what is the ultimate agenda exactly let's talk about it uh, oh that's great science fair is also one very good place where people make students actually make so let's do one small activity uh, i would be showing now India. some uh, toys and they are related to certain festivals or certain occasions uh try to comment on the chat what these are one by one okay let's let's see most of you might know about it but but still let's quickly get on with this particular activity huh? shall we do that here we go the first one the first one and uh, yeah what is this and uh, which festival are we talking about you can you can put it and you can put a hyphen and say what exactly yeah this is kite is it kite festival no it is something else exactly what is this sankranti yeah we we have kite and makar sankranti exactly during sankranti time people actually fly the kite in case if anybody can tell the reason for it you can i mean that's an additional point i'm not really sure about it but you can put it on the chat now at the same time when we try to fly the kite uh, we are talking about makar sankranti what are the concepts that we can deal with it is an amazing uh, you know creativity that can be indulged we'll talk about that little later it's called as utrain from gujarat oh is that so basant panchmi exactly weather is clear no rain Perfect. perfect okay kite makar santranti pongal exactly during the pongal time so it's basically the harvest season kind of sun worship oh vishwakarma puja okay oh is there alsi in independence day in north oh is that so okay acha rakshabandhan mein kite hota hai i didn't know that okay done <laughs> yeah exactly this is this is the prayer to the sunlight okay that's one way of sun is moving uh, from the southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere very good very good absolutely makar sankranti uttarayan gujarat yeah great makar sankranti lodi in punjab exactly i was waiting for that okay let's continue let's come kite is a, okay kite on the day of janmashtami in jammu and kashmir oh so kite is kind of common across the year in different region maybe because of the sun's movement maybe maybe let's talk about that later let's go with the next one i would like to show you the next one here we go this is quite simple very simple let's see who says what saraswati puja okay diwali yeah it could be diwali anything else anything else cracker in diwali correct correct anything else anything else vishu okay this is rocket to kali puja very good dipavali okay okay when rockets are present this is the festival of marriages <laughs> shaadiyon ka tyohar okay that's great but that that happens throughout in india and india is very well known for celebrating marriages like anything spending crores and crores of rupees in marriages is like kind of the prestige ah uh, let's hold on to that <laughs> up to a certain extent yeah otherwise people take decisions of not marrying also yeah waste of money okay <laughs> everybody has got their uh, you know uh, perceptions over there use for celebration symbol of victory okay that's great durga puja uh, okay while 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 this particular picture was there in the ncert curriculum considering deepavali diwali and actually dashera as well let's when india wins a match that's again another festival out there absolutely absolutely that happened quite a long long time ago so yeah let's go back let's go elections aha uh -huh, not a good example but chalega <laughs> watch this this is quite famous in southern part of india and uh, i'm not you know personally witnessed this in many places in the north but people say that it's there in the north as well what is this aha uh -huh. okay this is ah uh, bommalu koluvu exactly dashara in karnataka exactly and in tamil this is called as golu exactly janmashtami ah dashara saraswati puja so this this is actually during that nine nights navratri in mysore yeah absolutely gola 
exactly mamla kovulu diwali it's it's all around that particular time so look at that festival uh, when we said that if the festival had only the charm of some incident and not the toys and mela and all the whole aspect or the charm would go away and look at this each and every festival that are talking about they've got some toys and this particular festival where they actually make the toys and the surprising factor is the the toys are made in a manner that are so scientific in nature have you seen that uh, the, we call that as tanjaur bomma where where we have this uh, doll which will continuously shake it continuously shake it's like a perpetual mechanism it will not stop at all and and in 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 a in a you know uh, in, in as a matter of slang we say that uh, we tell the children you know do not dance like a golu bomma something like that you know the point is it keeps on shaking and there are some toys which don't even fall you you try to push them as much as possible they'll come back i think you know what i'm talking about i'm deliberately not using some scientific terms out there exactly <laughs> butta bomma <laughs> exactly you know butta bomma right <laughs> exactly it's all about that yeah it got famous because of something else but we're talking about something else so here in this case when they don't fall it's maybe because of the center of mass the way it is placed yeah or or the way it is made uh, in a manner where center of mass and center of gravity is kind of see the moment we talk about the technicalities of it there is a there is a disconnect a little bit of disconnect but when we talk to children they would have already experienced this rather than saying that there is there is a uh, you know car standing out there it is not falling or dripping because the center of gravity is somewhere there how about have you played with a toy like this let me bring some toys you get these toys in the class they are not even expensive yeah it's it's actually available vijay dashmi exactly made of coconut leaves oh Oh, is that so? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. Made of coconut leaves, people make that musical instrument and all. I've seen that. Uh, sand toy. Okay, that's great. Let's go further. Let's go further. Let's go further. Okay, now what is this? What is this? I'm I'm revolving around the same month actually. Uh huh. Body balance. No, this is Dandiya. Exactly. This is Dandiya during Navratri. Most famous in Gujarat, right? Dandiya. Yeah. Mumbai me to yeah it keeps happening, but mostly Gujus come. yeah nice people with respect to and and they've garba exactly we call that as garba as well in some places dandiya and gujarat and and there is a proper kya uh, falguni patak ka sabse famous hota hai in mumbai i think so if i'm not wrong exactly now when we talk about dandiya and and i think you will be able to relate this with uh, the tuning forks that are present in your science lab do you know that so there is this instrument called as tuning forks you you tap on a table or there is a separate place where you tap it and and it 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 kind of vibrates and there is a measuring instrument where it says that what is the frequency at which it's vibrating dandiya is is like regular tuning fork getting experienced until that whole uh, you know beat gets stops for nearly 1 hour it continuously happens understanding the concept of whole tuning fork and frequency can be better experienced while playing dandiya rather than sitting in the class and listening to a teacher how about that no kind of yes so this is with respect to uh, uh, you know dandiya and its relevance with some of the topics let's go further let's go further sound needs medium exactly uh jaltarang also produces vibran vibration in fact uh, it's also used as a therapy in many cases it's like you just keep revolving i don't know no let's let's see let's continue further and in this case ah uh, what is this today we're going to deal with this for a long time what is this called as side drumsticks as musical instrument oh you're absolutely right this is called as pichkari for some reason this has got only one word called as pichkari is there anyone out there uh, which has this particular thing should have a different name anyone out there in your language come on please put it on the chat put it on the chat aha uh -huh. water gun water gun nahi water gun yahan pe india mein nahi bolte isko siphon is also siphon in hindi nahi kalagan nahi ye sab angrezi hai in hindi or in telugu or in malayalam or tam puchagari okay okay holi petlu in kannada okay that's great okay kotlam that's great that's that's a nice name uh huh look at the diversity that we have in the session itself pichkiri in bengal okay pichkari in 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 hindi right okay well uh, clearing concepts of suction in plants oh wow that's amazing i think that's called as uh, oh i'm forgetting the concept name suction in plants is just not because of pichkari it is also because of uh, um needle suction i'm forgetting the name i'm so sorry niti tupaki oh niti tupaki in telugu it's like gun sort of a thing air pressure uh, no it's not air pressure um i'm forgetting the name of transpiration 
I need a better name, transpiration, something else also along with that. Piston mechanism, we're going to talk about this. Shape by showing this picture. Okay, cylindrical shape, why not? Achha, cha is light in Marathka. Pichkari, okay, something like this. Boyle's law, okay. capillary action. Anulupa, ma'am, thank you so much. I was just, you know, revolving around the same topic. Capillary action, that, that happens in the suction in the plant. But this is not capillary action. Syringe does not work on capillary action. You need to apply, you know, pull that back so that low pressure is created and it happens. Cohesion and addition force of water, amazing. I think now we are literally getting on into science with Holi. Yeah, let's continue further. Let's continue further. Do we have the next one? And here we go. What is this? What is this? This is quite famous. And, and this is completely on toys. Bach, okay, Bach Baras. Okay, very good. Pungal, Pola, correct. Pungal. This is more into Vasu Baras. Exactly. Godan Puja. Godan Puja or Govardhan Puja. Pungal. These are some of the bogey. Yeah. So actually, uh, you know, people pray, uh, you know, cows, uh, cow is considered to be a deity in Hindu. Uh, please don't mistake me that now most of these photos that are coming up is mostly, you know, uh, uh, related to Hinduism. But actually, there are a lot of other toys like the lanterns, which we talk for Christmas gifts, the trees that are celebrated. There are various other toys coming into the other other uh, religions festivals as well. Considering NCRT content, the I'm just taking the screenshots and putting over here. And that's why this seems to be dominated. And uh, in Hinduism, you know that the festival, each and every day is one sort of a festival. If moon has changed its position a little bit, that's a festival. If sun just shifted a little bit over there, that's a festival. So each and every second, it's, it's more like a festival as per the Hindu books out there. But the point is, that's the reason this is getting dominated. Otherwise, there are other pictures also. Baswachinti in Kannada, exactly. Govadan Puja, Martu Pungal, exactly. Pola, you're absolutely correct. One of the very uh, governance of Puja. Let's go further, let's go further. And what is this called as? Celebrate every moment. Yeah, what is this called as? Put it on the chat. It's considered as Pungal for everyone in Tamil Nadu. Katputli, exactly. Or or it's called as Puppet. Okay, fine. Let's stick to Katputli. Yeah. And and when is this actually, you know, Puppet Show? Sabse zada kabhi hota hai? Any, any particular festival you remember? Puppet Show or, or Bummalatam, exactly. Bummalatam or Katputli happens during a certain festival. What is that? Desert Festival. Okay, very close. Okay, osmosis. No, we can we explain osmosis with this? Okay, I think you're saying, okay, Janmashtami, Dashera, exactly. Yeah, that's the time when it becomes very famous, especially in northern parts of India. I should say northwestern part, Rajasthan. Yeah, in Mela. Yeah, you would have seen, seen this, all these things in Mela as well. And, and you know what? I'm not sure how many of you have tried this. You should try controlling a puppet with your fingers. In case, if anybody's able to do exactly as per the storyboard, Trust me, it's one of the most difficult aspect. And a person who's able to control the puppets, that person has got amazing fine motor skills. And, and it's not, you know, it's not at all easy to, you know, each and every finger has got a different role to do. And, and the best part is each and every finger is representing a character. We need to even, you know, remember which finger is constituting to which character below. To that extent, uh, this is actually difficult. The art of uh, Katputli or, or the puppet show uh, originated actually by, you know, Dravidians or Indians mainly. And, and uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of getting cultured around the Western and Eastern countries across. But it's, it's more of an Asian thing, it seems. But yeah, it has got a bigger history. We need to read about it. But the point is, uh, the ability of controlling puppet show is amazing. So here, when you talk about control and coordination, the nervous system, how your brain responds to different organ of your body, I do not know how you will relate this, but this can be done. This is with respect to puppet show. I would also like to, you really need to have a very good practice. Yeah, yeah big time. Storytelling is an important art. Well, the last one, I think I'll have one more and then we'll continue with the session. Do you know what is this called as? No, this art is not dying, ma'am. There are competitions coming up. Palanguli, exactly. Uh, Togalu Gubita, exactly. Alagulu Mane. Uh, actually, it's Ali and Mane, right? Ali and Mane, something like that. Okay, Vamana Guntalu or Pagadita or Haliguli. Exactly, Haliguli Mane, exactly. Mangari in Malayanam. Palanguli in Tamil, exactly. Uh, Gurpale in Konkani. This is also present across India. And, and people generally play 
with uh, you know sea shells i think you know that sea shells or they also play with uh, the tamarind seeds um you know people used to collect tamarind seeds i like what was the actual aspect of it there are multiple purpose but they say that this could be used for playing pallanguri you know you can play this particular game and that's why i'm collecting tamarind seeds so that's a nice nice chinchka exactly uh, tamarind and aligali mane in kannada correct correct so people used to collect the seeds to play the game <laughs> just imagine and 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 tell me one person who's better at mathematics uh, who does not play pallanguri or or this particular game it's very difficult it's very difficult because the ability of counting and and uh, you know the way you catch you know this right you throw this up you catch it over here and and the seeds don't fall our grandparents or our parents used to have amazing skills and if any teacher out there is pretty well experienced even you would have done this unfortunately i have never seen this i mean i never got to play with this but my parents and my grandparents used to play on this yeah gitte in punjabi exactly yeah five stones kind of kind of kind of uh, the hopscotch is also kind of you know uh the expanded version of pallangli it seems people say that but anyways anyways vana okay vana vana guntala pita oh that's in telugu gitte yeah gitte chapeta okay that's it, that's it. let's stop share the screen for a few minutes so this is one a uh, very nice uh, you know you would have seen that there are so many toys and i'm very sure how many of you have used these toys within the last one month even the kites for that matter we actually stop that now if you say that this culture is kind of getting eroded going away somewhere we are the reason for it how about some teachers out there you know coming up with an idea of let me bring one toy a day you know what one year is not sufficient for you there are so many indigenous toys that are present out there so it can become part of a culture it can be part of a school let me have a room uh dedicated to toys children love that you know today we have a concept called as montessori toys look at montessori toys not even a single toy that you see over there might be new to you because everything is kind of already present in india it's it's kind of surprising that how come people have so nicely documented in in documents like early childhood care and education montessori which are more like westernized and looking at those toys you're not even surprised why aren't we surprised because we have already seen these toys before but if you take those toys to a different country i wouldn't consider asian countries because asian countries like china japan they've already used such kind of toys to a large extent and they in fact say that you know most of them got originated in india and and we kind of make it and and this clay modulation pottery kind of mechanism all these things are expansion of the toys that we have used so with respect to all these toys if at all a school leader out there or a teacher out there can take an initiative to to remember the toys that's great and eventually you can participate in toy fair which is conducted every year somewhere in the month of uh, you know june july i think so either in the end of an academic year or the beginning of an academic year that's how it has been march or june somewhere like that so you can check that and you can be one of the you know schools representing toy fair and after nep 2020 toy fair is kind of a mandate and it happens across the country there is even a company called as khilona there is even a movie called as khilona for that matter yeah don't go there that's not my point tipri pani in marathi used to make jewelry oh exactly ah uh, i've seen them uh our indian wooden toys are very famous uh the other day you know uh, we came across this toy called as teether t w e t h e r i think you might know that generally people buy teethers for the children to you know bite uh when they are around 7 8 months old the gums become little numb and they want to bite things so what they do is they they started buying and we started buying those fiber materials and things like that and people started recommending dr da started recommending buy the wooden toys as if it was something very new but unfortunately that's the trend right now people do not even know that wooden toys can exist it soothes the irritating gum mostly it is silicon but ideally if you can use the wooden ones that that are even more you know safe from infection and things like that anyways this is something with respect to uh you know the toys out there let's let's do one small activity and close for the day and for that i would like to 
yeah kandhi jatra is the odisha festival out there that i was talking about and and uh, there are many other states who come up with this you know toy fair as such dedicated is i think kandhi jatra a- apart from that i'm not really sure of anything but uh, in almost all the festivals uh, even if it's durga puja in kolkata or even if it's pongal in tamil nadu or onam in kerala or uh, you know dashara in rajasthan whatever it could be you have a separate mela and mela will generally have that uh, giant wheel i do not know if you have it i have always experienced that and if that's there definitely there are some toys present out there try finding out which are indian toys which are made by hand wood and all these things and let's encourage by buying them as much as possible and now let's get into one small activity to just have some kind of relationship with toys and a concept kandhi means doll in odisha exactly kandhi yeah in hindi doll little wooden toys yeah kondapalli bommalu in andhra pradesh very famous for handmade exactly if anybody is out there interested in handicrafts and all this thing there is one chapter also i think uh, uh we we talk about weaving right from cotton to thread uh, in fact some schools out there use the cotton and they try to make thread out of it and they also have fiber to fabric you know kind of activities in i uh, science i think no padmashima in social science no fiber to fabric in science i don't know yeah we see that's, that's the best part we can't find it out if it's science or difficult oh it can be in chemistry also <laughs> interesting right let's let's go it encourages interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary aspects of learning okay for this i would like to share the white board but now removed oh i didn't know that okay now what i'm going to do is um uh, can somebody tell me what is that festival which is considered to be the festival of lights anyone out there festival of lights l i g h t s l i lights lights okay diwali okay diwali is considered to be festival of lights okay that's great diwali very good very good very good this this okay what what is that festival which is considered to be festival of uh, you know colors colors out there colors colors festival of colors holi okay holi is considered to be the festival of colors okay uh, what is that festival that is considered to be festival of harvest harvest festival of harvest i think you know that okay okay oh very good oh, very good i think the chat is hanging a little bit teachers be patient and start responding it's okay onam pongal exactly or sankranti paisakhi multiple locations have got multiple names but yeah these are revolving around that great lodi exactly onam very good very good but yeah festival of harvest right now let's let's play a small game Uh, let's play a small game and i am going to play uh, the festival of colors called as holi some teachers who have attended our cpd program before uh, would have already experienced this in case if you are part of the session i would request you to not chat just look at the other people in case if you want to you are excited about it you can actually respond over the chat as well and with uh, that uh, announcement i would also like to tell you that from 9th august onwards uh, we are starting a cpd batch one batch based on multiple requirements from various schools it it will happen from monday to friday 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening uh for 12 days accounting to 24 to 25 hours approximately so we'll be giving you a certificate which could be given to your principal for considering it to be uh, as a part of mandatory cpd my certificates our certificates at super teacher are considered for that so you can submit it to your principal and that could be uploaded on the udice portal so cpd program starting from 9th august if you are interested you can please participate we are charging a nominal amount as per the cbsc norms of rupees 100 per hour per teacher which would account to 25 hours means 2500 rupees uh, you can register from the website the link of which will be coming on the chat very soon yeah very soon let's let's go with the last part of the session today and that's going to be playing the festival of uh no colors yeah colors let's take an example and for that uh let's let's take anita poonam poonam and anita are playing this pichkari with pichkari you know holi they they're, they're kind of quite interested in that and their parents have got this pichkaris and and the syringes actually and they're going to play with that now the poonam is the naughty one over here let's assume that the poonam is the naughty one now what what they are doing is what they are doing is this is how the pichkari looks like now ye hai anita ka pichkari so poonam says that hey punam uh, hey anita give me your pichkari let me let me do something to it now this is that pichkari which is syringe number 1 and it has got lot of water inside it 
lot of water inside it now this particular thing is called as i think you know it what is it called as piston or the plunger depending on uh you know right now i don't want to get into the technicalities this could be called as a plunger or a piston whatever it is now this can be pushed inside you know that this can be pushed inside now poonam says that do not push it because if you push it water will come out then anita is asking to main kya karu what what shall we do then anita is saying okay let, let poonam is saying let me do something she is connecting a tube there is a tube like this some what transparent over here okay and this tube just assume this to be a tube and she is connecting another syringe over here she is connecting another syringe over here now this syringe is closed now this particular piston you can see it's open open means it has got water inside this thing uh, the syringe has got water inside but this particular thing is kind of closed now if this is closed uh the question to all of you right now i'm using the mouse and it's kind of not working properly so the handwriting is not so clearly understandable i'm requesting everybody everybody to please listen to me very carefully now when when poonam is pressing the plunger over here on this side with syringe number 1 my question is will the syringe number 2 expand out or not remember there's water present over here and it's a transparent tube syringe 1 is comparatively bigger than syringe number 2 these are some of the conditions just just try to put it on the chat remember do not think as if this is a science subject or a social subject or a math subject the question is very simple you need to say yes or no that's it when poonam is pressing the plunger or the piston of syringe number 1 will the piston or the plunger of syringe number 2 expand or not will it go out or not that's the question and the chat may we have got mix of answers some people say yes some people say no some people say it will go out some people say yes okay that's that's um, a little some people say thoda sa zyada nahi it depends on poonam's pressure looking at poonam she seems to be quite healthy person so she has got the pressure great she can see but you said that it's close no it's close in the sense uh, at the current scenario it is closed pichkari wo movable hota hai na i do not know think about it okay you don't want to guess okay that's great it may or it may not okay that's it that's it i'm not going to come up with an answer let's let's continue further now what what punam is doing is punam is a naughty one right so what she's going to do she is getting another another syringe and she is creating a small hole over here in the tube and she is connecting another syringe which is also kind of small and that is also closed now this is syringe number 2 this is syringe number 2 now the question is when poonam is pressing the plunger of syringe number 1 we are playing holy please remember that yeah oh, and this is syringe number 3 i am very sorry this has to be 3 okay now my question is in case when when poonam is pressing the plunger number 1 will 3 expand first or 2 expand first is it like 3 and then 2 or is it like 2 and then 3 or is it like none of them will expand or is it like both of them will expand think about it think about it put it on the chat think about it none okay some people say two and some people say three some people say both at the same time and some people say it won't expand that's great continue teachers keep keep contributing to the answer none 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 okay none remember syringe number 1 consists of a uh, sufficient amount of water that can fill both 3 and 2 in case if it can so that is the condition and there are two syringes let's not get into the answer right now now poonam is the naughty one okay we will allow her to be a little naughty one more time and you can see that she is connecting another syringe over here and that particular syringe is present over here which 2 3 and this is the syringe number 4 syringe number 4 and even this is closed now when poonam is pressing the plunger number 1 will 3 expand first and then 4 and then 2 or is it going to be 2 4 and 3 or is it going to be none of them will expand or is it going to be all of them will expand think about it think about it and put it on the chat think about it and put it on the chat we are there in the last part of the session okay none everybody says none all none okay there's there's a multiple answer coming out there remember remember all of them at a time okay some people say the d option is the correct option some people say 3 4 2 some people are asking uh, syringe number 1 hawe mein latka hua hai ya table pe baitha hua hai some people are asking if i'm not wrong no wo hame poonam se puchna padega i think poonam says it's there on the table let's go with the last last 
uh, you know, uh, naughty stuff that ma'am is doing, Poonam is doing is she's connecting one more syringe. And after this, her mom is coming, her beating her and taking back to her home because she has been playing holy for whole day. And this is the fifth syringe. Here in this case, the question is, when Poonam is pressing the plunger number one, five, three, four, and two, is that the order of expansion? Or two, four, three, and five, is that the order of expansion? Or, or none of them are expanding, or, or all of them are expanding. After this, Poonam is going home. We are also supposed to go home in a few minutes. Okay, none. Some people say none. Chaitali ma'am says all. Some people will say none. Five, three, four, two. Okay, Jyoti ma'am, five is your lucky number and that's why five comes first. No? Okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, all of them are expanding. Some of them, okay, that's great. That's great. Teachers, look at this. Look at this. This is an amazing thing. Uh, Poonam and, and Anita were playing, um, you know, this holy and this is the experimentation that they've been doing. So-called toy out there. But whatever we have drawn, listen to me, listen to me, everyone, listen to me, everyone, whatever we have drawn over here, this particular drawing that we are looking at is actually the representation of a car braking system. And each and every syringe out there that's present is connected to the four wheels of a car. Now, when we talk about the four wheels of a car, Puna, whenever she's pressing this piston or the plunger, that is exactly the brake pedal that is present right below the car. Now, whenever you press the brake pedal, rather than the water out there, the oil gets to all the four syringes and all the four syringes expand simultaneously. So the D option is correct. And they apply some sort of a pressure on the wheels, some sort of a friction, and the car comes to a halt. Just imagine if your car was working according to your answers. That means you are applying the pressure, but it's uh, working with 5432 or 2435. You might start from your home, but you might end up at the hospital. The point is, in this particular case, everything expands simultaneously. And whatever we have learned right now, this is actually called as hydraulics. This is called as hydraulics. And when we talk about hydraulics, it's actually the study of liquids and fluids, liquids and fluids. And this particular hydraulics was actually spoken by a person called as Louis Pascal, exactly. Louis Pascal. And that is why this whole thing is called as Pascal's law. Pascal's law states that the pressure applied in the closed network of a fluid on one side gets equally distributed on all the other sides. So the point is when you have the dumper truck, I think you would have seen that there's a silver kind of rod over there. That's exactly the plunger that we're talking about. You can talk about a JCB, a mechanism where it's able to lift heavy loads because of hydraulics no it's because of fluids and gases no it's because of pascal's law no it's because of poonam and anita who played holy i hope you're able to understand just imagine you get into a class and start the class let's learn about pascal's law do you really think the children are going to get connected or i'm going to use the toy based pedagogy and i'm going to talk to the children let's play holy with pichkari will they get connected it's, it's quite obvious the children are able to get connected with, with, with some aspects of toys because they've already experienced that. So the point over here is when we talk about art integration or toy-based pedagogy or anything that's working around us, if we can relate that with the concepts that are present in the textbook, nothing can be better than that. Uh, I think most of you would have uh, already understood that, uh, okay, okay, hydraulic lift, that's a good example. Lift is a very good example. Uh, today, Zabardasti, we, we taught Pascal's law to social science and English teachers. Uh, I do not know. And, and even max teachers for that matter. But that's okay. No problem. Next time, whenever you go in a bus or a car, maybe you might not remember what hydraulics is. But definitely, whenever somebody is applying the brake, you might understand, okay, there is an oil, brake oil, which is going to all the four wheels where some syringes are present. They are applying some pressure on the tires and the bus or car is coming to a halt. If you, if you are able to understand till that particular point, that means the purpose of the session is done. We were kind of little fast considering Super Sunday workshop and we are not really, uh, you know, having a, a dialogue over here. It's a monologue. I'm the only person talking. There might be chances that the people have a doubt. If you have a doubt, uh, please, uh, you know, put me, uh, message me. I'll be able to respond to you over the chat. So that's it, teachers. We'll be closing today and, and, uh,
toy based pedagogy is an important aspect i wanted to make some boards there are a lot of things that i have over here including you know the cups and all but unfortunately considering the time i'm not able to complete even a single activity so i thought let's stick on to pascal's law in case if anyone out there would like to learn more about it we are going to cover this in the cpd program as well requesting you to join the cpd program which is starting from 9th august and uh, the reflection form is coming on the chat you can fill it up and there also i've mentioned the details of uh, the cpd program my phone number is present in the reflection form you can fill it up it will be open till 6 o'clock today in the evening and post that it will get closed so in order to get your certificates for this particular session on toy based pedagogy you can fill up the reflection form before 6 o'clock i hope everybody was able to get some benefits out of uh, today's session thank you so much teachers some of you have been really consistent and that motivates us a lot uh, anita ma'am and poonam ma'am special thanks to you for uh, allowing me to use your names you could have put on the chat please don't use my name but you didn't do that thank you so much hindi ke liye bhi aap use kar sakte hai exactly so we would like to close the session for today it was great interacting with one and all and that completes another super sunday workshop we'll be continuing to do this and i would request everyone out there to please take some screenshots over here or talk about this on linkedin facebook instagram uh or else if you want you can share the linkedin post that we have and uh, you can talk about it the more you talk about a certain aspect uh, the better is the retention and i also get some visibility that's all as simple as that so let's close for today and we'll meet you again with another amazing topic in the upcoming super sunday session thank you so much have an happy weekend happy sunday and all the best for your upcoming week in case if there are any queries you can put on the chat i'll be here for another 5 minutes and then we'll close it Thank you thank you thank you so much bye everyone jai hind thank you thank you ma'am thank you everyone reflection form is not opening thanks for mentioning that and let me check that no i am getting multiple responses already 500 people have responded thank you thank you teachers Jai yeah, Ma'am, thank you. Yeah, you can leave the meeting. I'm done with my presentation for today. If there are any queries, you can put it on the chat. Otherwise, thank you. Yeah, happy friendship day to everyone. By the way, thank you. Yeah, last Sunday bhi apne happy friendship day bola tha. Oh, we are in India, so every day is a celebration, right? Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Carry on. is it okay to use drawing concept uh very important swati ma'am uh, in fact uh, there was this very good teacher who spoke about mandala art and mandala art me she was actually talking about the concept of spiral now spiral shape is actually getting originated from fibonacci series of mathematics and that particular teacher happened to be a maths teacher and she was saying that mandala art is kind of an a therapeutic art form in which you can use spiral is kind of very difficult in that because it needs to be a closed figure it seems so i i think art can be used in various forms in 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 teaching if you ask me is it art integration or toy i would say don't care about it because uh, multiple personalities out there come up with their own terminologies for us that's not important it's about the ability of a teacher the way they connect that particular uh, art form with the concept now if you say pichkari holi uh, we can say that it's a toy based pedagogy because you can actually do it in the class and do it or 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 you can say that it's an art integration because we're talking about holi as a festival you can you can say that i was including uh, anita ma'am and poonam so we can say it's a role playing methodology i was asking questions continuously and you were answering and based on your answers we we concluded the session so it's called as inquiry based learning so when we talk about all these things there are multiple terminologies associated with one single delivery so in case if anyone out there thinks that what does it actually come under i would say don't care i mean let's not care about it it can come under anything what it could be poonam's law of teaching could be like why why only benjamin's taxonomy bloom's taxonomy it could be pawn's taxonomy as well ho sakta hai na anyways that's it arithmetic progression in patterns of dying oh wow that's a very very nice way of putting it across thank you so much exactly nostalgic this session would have been kind of nostalgic yeah deepthi ma'am thank you certificate within 15 days anuradha ma'am sunishar you need uh, sunishar you need to write a mail uh, to swati@superteacher.in uh, i think uh, she'll get back to you 
shapes of pattern pattern recognition is an important skill that you know we need to have uh, most of the problems get solved if you have good pattern recognition abilities varsha ma'am please message me uh, on whatsapp i'll be able to send you personally uh, swati at the rate superteacher.in s w a t h i swati at the rate superteacher.in you can see see vasudevan at superteacher.in s u p e r t e a c h e r ujwala ma'am i'm very sorry it is a software based uh, timing ma'am uh, six uh, to be very precise 615 is the actual time thank you anuradha ma'am thank you thank you alu mukherjee sir thank you pattern strips are very important yeah thank you thank you last question and feedback form is confusing i think last question is about name a toy that is part of your festival and try to have one concept written for it you know something like uh, agar aapne likha uh, diya diya or the candle whatever you write and you can write the concept over there i can talk about reflection of light over there i can talk about layers of flame over there whatever it is yeah abhaya ma'am uh, where to write what could you please repeat that thank you pradeep sir thank you that's it invitation link okay so bashwati ma'am uh, bashwati ma'am uh, message me i'll i'll save your number then you will be able to see my whatsapp status i have my whatsapp story or status whatever you call that every thursday and saturday so you will be able to see the link you can also be part of the telegram community where we regularly put the information and the link of the telegram community is there on the reflection form itself or else worst case scenario go to super teacher website wahan pe upcoming events karke likha hoga you will be able to see what is upcoming event nisha ma'am i know yeah nisha ma'am is one ma'am like many of you vasundra ma'am for that matter regularly attending all our super sunday workshop so these are some of the you know encouraging moments for us to keep connecting it so thank you so much okay i think it's time for me happy weekend and all the best uh, to everyone for the upcoming week teachers thank you so much yeah my number is mentioned below the uh, link yeah my number is there on the chat itself i mean reflection form itself right on the top yeah i'll see you again in the next super sunday workshop jai hind to everyone thank you so much